everybody. Well, today is a quick haul and a few things that I've picked up. And then I'm heading down to the beach, and I did pick up some new items from MAC, the Back to the Beach collection. So I'll be doing that down there, because I thought it might be sort of appropriate to do Back to the Beach at the beach. So the things I want to review today are a couple of things I got from MAC, and then a couple of other miscellaneous things. Um, the first thing that I got was I got another paint pot, because I absolutely love these. I think these are like the best things for um, putting on a base color, for putting on a primer for your eyelid, and they just last so long. They're really amazing. So I got it in the Rubenesque, because everything's been in that peachy tone, so I wanted a base that had more of a peach tone to it, although I do love my painterly. Um, I think the girl said to me too that it's like their number one selling item in MAC is the Painterly Paint Pot, so interesting to know. But here's the color. Really, really pretty shade. And the second thing that I picked up from MAC is I picked up their new Opulash, their new mascara. This is supposed to be like the Dior shadow. I think it's, they're trying to knock off that or they're trying to steal their business actually as opposed to be doing a knockoff. So it has a similar brush to it. Um, I did try it today. I have to say I still like my Dior better. Um, this is a good mascara and I think they're almost there because I know that a lot of people are not that crazy about the MAC uh, mascaras, but this is a pretty good one. I happen to like the Iconic and the Dior because I like that rubber tip um, and I feel that it just really goes in and grabs my lashes well, but, but this is really a nice second, so I, I do like that. The next thing that I picked up is another Stilla eyeliner. Now I've been loving the one that I have in the Indigo, so I went back and got the purplish tone and I think they call it Violet. Yeah, they call it Violet. I really like these liners. They go on so smooth. They don't pull on your eye. The color is really nice. Um, a little hard to find sometimes in some of the Sephora's, but I went to a different one this time and they had plenty of stock on it, so hopefully they're, they're okay with that. The next thing I wanted to talk to you about was um, I went out to try the Hourglass line, and I know a lot of people have been talking about it, and I sort of been reading about it. It's getting sort of hit or miss in some of their items. So the first thing that I got that I actually can't show you because I returned it is their tinted moisturizer and this was just did not work for me. I, I'm not really sure why they're calling it a tinted moisturizer. It's really a heavy application. Now I only used a pump of it so it's not that I went overboard on it and I can't imagine using any less than that but it really gave me complete coverage but which was okay but the problem was that it was very drying. Now they advertise it as being very hydrating, absolutely did not work for me. It was gave me a very tight feeling, which is funny because they also advertising it as having a tightening effect. So for me it's sort of like it's hydrating but it's going to tighten when tighten usually is more of like a drying effect. So there's sort of a mixed signal going on there. But the funniest thing about their advertisement is it says that it's going to give you that hydrating great look after an hour. And I'm thinking to myself, don't we put makeup on for the instant gratification of looking good? Do we want to put something on and then wait an hour? What happens if you put it on and then you're out and about and an hour later it doesn't do what it's supposed to do? Anyways, I thought that was a really odd way to uh, advertise a product. And for me, I just did not like it. It was very tight on my face. It was very dry on my face. It was really uncomfortable, so I returned it. Now the other thing that I bought is I bought their concealer, and I do like that, I am going to keep that. I bought it in the shade of Warm. And what I've been doing is, because I've been thinking about it, is that I really want a lighter application for the summer. And because I always up my SPF in the summer, um, you know, you get more of a heavier sort of sticky feeling to your face. So putting anything on top of that is always a little bit too much for my skin. It's, I, I just feel like I can't breathe. It, you get warm, you get a little bit sweaty, and I just don't really like that feeling. So what I decided I was going to do is just use a concealer and then do like my brush and my bronzer and skip foundation altogether because a lot of the tinted foundations only have SPF 20 in them or 15. I think the Lorac that I have has SPF 30 in it which is a lot better but because I tend to go 40, 50, 60, a little bit higher um, in my SPFs in the summer, I really don't need it in the tinted moisturizer, and I'm not really sure I need the tinted moisturizer at all. So what I've been doing with this, and I actually did it today, so I don't know if you can tell or not, is because I've also been taking really good care of my skin, I used my MAC 130 brush, and I took a little bit of the concealer, and I just went and hit the spots, you know, little red spots, brown spots, anything that I found to even out my skin. And then I use the same brush because you know I get a little bit lazy and I put it into my cream blush. Today I think I use the NYC blush that I got and I got the apples of my cheeks. 
Then I used my Rimmel bronzer and did the defining contouring on my face and the coloring that way. And I have to say it's really nice. I did it yesterday also. I got through the whole day with my face really looking pretty much like the way that I had started out and I really, it felt better too because it was able to breathe and we had a super, super hot couple of days. So it was great because usually no matter what you do, I don't care what you put on, Max Fix Plus or anything else, when you hit that 90 plus degree humidity, your face is gonna start to melt. And I didn't have that reaction because I think I had less product on. So I'm really loving that. And the last thing that I wanted to share with you is um, a self-tanner. It's the Too Faced Tanning Bed in a Tube. Now I'm not really big on self-tanners because I work really hard to keep my skin in the shape that it's in and I'm not sure putting on something that's going to make my skin darker or is going to add chemicals to my face is a good way to go. But what I bought it for was specifically for my legs. Because of course where it was so warm out I went and put on a skirt and some flip-flops and I looked down and lo and behold <laughs> <laughs> there were these two extremely white things sticking out of my skirt that looked ridiculous. So I thought, okay, I'm not wearing nylons because it's really too warm, and I'm not throwing on another pair of pants. So I had ordered this because I had read about it, and I was planning to try it anyways. So I threw this on before I went out. Now, I'm not going to use it on a continuous basis because I'm not interested in building up a tan, but it was really nice. It gave a very slight glow to my legs. It darkened them just a little bit. Now this one is advertised as an instant bronzing lotion with a gradual sunless tanner. So I'm going to ignore the gradual part because I don't plan to use it that often. But to put it on and to just go out, it was really nice. It really made the difference. It just took the edge off that starking white that was staring out at me and giving me the shutters. And the last thing that I want to share with you is that I ordered a couple of empty palettes from Coastal Scents for my NYX shadows because I've been so in love with those shadows and I've been ordering them like crazy and for that 550 you get three in a pan so I have quite a lot of them they're, they're really getting bulky in my drawer. So I ordered two palettes from Coastal Scents. I ordered the 4 palette and I ordered the 12 and I think the 12 is adorable. Now I have one of the ones from MAC but I think I really like this better because I like the size of it better and you can see I've already put my shadows in and I label them and I label them down and across this way because the three come together so that I would remember and it's pretty easy to do you can do the heat method or you can do just a dry method what I did was and I did bend them a little bit on the edge but I don't really care as I took a very sharp knife and I went along the side and I just popped them out and then the difference with these palettes is they come with a little metal insert so if you put the MAC shadows in them because they have the magnetic bottom, that will adhere to that. But these don't. So I had ordered online, I think I got them through eBay, and I got maybe 500 for, you know, a couple of dollars. It was little tiny round magnetic backs, so I just popped them on the back of the shadow and I popped them in. And I just think that's great. I usually take about four shadows when I go traveling, but this is so cute and small that I think I might end up taking a few more this trip. Anyways, that's my review for today. Hope that you guys enjoyed it. Have a great weekend, everybody. Speak to you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.